snake inside of this cumbritum. I, I couldn't figure out why they were all banded underneath this tree, and they've chased this snake up into the tree. Do you see the snake there? It looks like a mamba to me, but they're all crowded around the bottom. This is so incredible. This is not something you get to see every day. I don't think I've ever been able to show my guests this. This is very, very, very cool. I just want to get my binos on. I cannot even begin to explain to you how excited I am right now. Yeah, it looks like a mamba. Hey, Sense. Sense, I don't know if you just want to go to the bottom of the tree there and just show them how, how the... Can you everybody hear them chit chit chittering away? Can we hear that alarm call? Amazing. Interesting because that that snake must have been at the at the bottom of the of tree on the ground, and then there must have at one point been something like thirty dwarf mongoose. There's even one that's trying to climb up a little bit. Senzo, can you see there on the stump, on the bot? Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much. And it's interesting because they're not necessarily going to. I've never seen dwarf mongoose climb a tree. I've seen slender mongoose climb up far up into a tree sort of several meters and start eating off of an old leopard kill so I know they can get up there but the thing is that that Bwumslang is very adept at hunting birds and is very adept at hunting birds from within a tree so yes they've chased it up there and yes they are fully capable of killing it but oh look it's um is it is that the head coming down there sense there's the tail there's the head. Yeah, there's the head. So he's he's also repositioning himself a bit to see to see if maybe he can he can get a, a snack there. Um, look, the mamba can possibly kill the mongoose. The mongoose can definitely kill them. I actually think I've misidentified this snake. I'm sorry. Just uh, calamity Jane. Yeah, I just want to triple check for some reason on the monitor. It looked like it was. Um, cobra for a second but i'm gonna yeah thanks curse i'm also gonna stick with my black mamba sorry my excitement levels are just over the moon no definitely you can see those eyes definitely hunting for birds it is, it is a mamba and now that i'm looking it's maneuvered itself so that i can see i would say it's probably about two meters long so about six foot and yes it definitely can kill the mongoose but the mongoose in that big group the, what they were doing is sort of mobbing it. They are very capable of killing that that uh, mamba itself. Now they've moved off, and they've gone back to this termite mound <clears throat> that's behind us here. But you can see there's still a few sentries that are keeping an eye on it. It's hard. They keep moving very quickly back in front and back in front. I think let's stick with our black mamba for now because it's not something we get to see every day. And it is a beautiful, beautiful snake. <coughs> All snakes are beautiful. I'm absolutely enthralled with this sighting. The action has died down and they've gone to the safety of their, their termite mountains behind us. I'll show it to you a little bit later, but I mean, just catch an idea of how quickly this mamba can move inside of this cumbritum. It's able to maneuver itself in such a way that it's never really entangled. It's always got an opportunity to possibly hunt. Absolutely sunny. I'm so excited right now. Joy, you're asking, are boomslangs the same as a mamba? A boomslang is also an arboreal hunting snake, so also a snake that has um, a f sort of 
binocular vision eyes, I think is the word I'm looking to find at the moment, um, and will eat, you know, birds and, and birds' eggs and things like that. So they have similar hunting techniques, but it is a different snake. This mamba has neurotoxin venoms. This mamba, if it bites you, you have between 20 minutes and four hours to get to hospital to get anti-venom. A worm slang has hemotoxic venom, so that the neurotoxins shut down your nervous system and you stop being able to breathe, pretty much. Uh, a hemotoxin venom uh, refuses to let your blood clot, and so it just runs and runs and runs and runs. You have much longer time to get to the hospital then, and then they do a few, several days of transfusions, and then and then you're fine. Also, with the boom slang, the fangs are hinged backwards, so for, to get a boom slang to bite you, you have to sort of pick it up and twirl it around and bang it about. The reason why it has those back, backward fangs is when it bites a bird, when the bird tries to fly away, then the, the bird gets stuck on the backward facing fangs and then it can inject its venom and then it's easier for it to, to not only catch, kill its prey, but also to swallow its prey. Now for the life of me right now, I cannot remember if the mumba is fixed front fang or hinged front, front fanged. If there's anyone that is watching that can help my slightly addled brain at the moment um, uh, remember what it's trying to remember, that would be fantastic. I'm sorry, I'm still just so excited that we managed to catch that whole scenario, or most of that scenario, on camera. So now the snake has figured out that the mongoose are gone. It is now coming down the tree. And again, so quickly. I'll be interested to see which direction it goes in. Now you can really see that speed and how and how it functions. You can also now see the length really well. Senzo, do you agree? About two meters, hey? Yeah. It's it's a long one. The biggest one I've ever seen is four meters. So this is half the size of the biggest one I've ever seen. And this one will get bigger. It will also get much thicker. Sens is doing an amazing job trying to keep an eye on it as it moves through the grass. I don't want to move our vehicle too much. The direction that it seems to be heading seems like it wants to come out into this little bit of an open area, possibly. Um, I can just see its head poking out now at about our 3 o'clock. You got it there, Sens. All right. And so we're going to get a really nice view, hopefully of this mamba and the full length of it. Yeah, it is moving fast, Senzo. So it's gonna come, we've got an Impala midden that's just to our right and it's gonna come there, perfect. I mean, look how well they blend in. And just to give you guys an idea, so Obviously, every time Senzo has to move the camera, it needs to learn, it needs to focus so that we can see. But because the snake is moving so quickly, it's it's actually a, a, a very difficult skill that, that Senzo is doing at the moment. I mean, look at the size of this snake. All right, we're not going to be able to, I do have to move now because of where it's moving. I'm going to do my best to not ruin our visual too much. Come, Wendy, come. I want to see if we can manage to stay with it for as long as possible. See how it raised its body there a little bit? They can raise their bodies two-thirds of, of, of its own body length. It's going to go up into that little bit of brush. I'm just going to reposition again. This is really special. Dos Santos, are you asking, do birds hunt the black mamba? Um, was that the question, Kirst? 
So um, I've seen gray-headed bushrike and, and orange-breasted bushrike catching snakes. I've never seen them catching something like this mamba. Snake eagles will definitely catch a snake. And what's very interesting about snake eagles is that they don't have feathers on their legs so that when they do um, go for something like... Okay, sorry, Senzo's just telling me it's going to the termite mound where these uh, dwarf mongoose were. Sorry, sorry, Dos Santos, give me two shakes of a lamb's tail. Can you see it, Sens? Okay, so I'm just positioning. There we go. Thank you, Senzo. Um, so that when they catch something like this mamba, or possibly I've seen quite a bit with the puff adders, they um, catch it and then they, they don't kill it right away and they fly up on the wing and start eating it, especially black-breasted snake eagle, eating it on, on the wing like that, so that if, while the snake's still alive, if it bites them, it bites those scales and the venom is not injected um, into them. Sense, do you have it now? Yeah. Ivan, thank you so much. It's fixed front hollowed fangs. Yeah, the, the fangs are hollow indeed, so fixed front fangs. Thank you so much uh, for double checking me on that. It's going into the road. It's decided not to go towards... Oh, I'm not going to move. Sorry, Sen. Sorry. I was just thinking about the aerial there. Oh, look, look, look. It basically... The entire length of the road is the length of that snake. You can hear the birds starting to alarm call now. because of that snake and it's decided nope too much alarm calls too much going on it is out of here oh everyone fantastic senzo thank you everyone thank you that was that was an epic 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 sighting i fully enjoyed that i hope you all enjoyed that as well that was beyond entertainment and again, super special. So I've been doing this for so long and that's, look, I've seen a mamba and I've seen dwarf mongoose with guests time and time again, but that interaction that we just had there, primo.